Hello, my name is Dr. Wahid Antazari. I'm an assistant professor of orthopedic surgery and a shoulder and elbow surgeon at Cleveland Clinic. I'd like to present a challenging case with infected fracture non-union. Our patient is a 66-year-old right-hand dominant female who had a ground-level fall about two years prior to presentation and sustained a comminuted left proximal humerus fracture and radial nerve injury. She was relatively healthy and had no history of metabolic disease, smoking, and alcohol abuse. Her care at outside facility included nailing of the fracture that was complicated by wound drainage and infection. She underwent a series of surgeries, including two irrigation and debridement of the wound with retained hardware and a second revision ORIF using an atromedial plate that eventually failed. She had partial removal of hardware and second revision ORIF through a posterior approach that was failed eight months later. As you can see in her CAT scan, she had persistent atrophic non-union and loosening of the hardware. Our treatment strategy was to stage her surgeries and first treat the persistent infection and then tackle the atrophic non-union with ORIF of the fracture and a vascularized fibular graft. In stage one, we removed all the hardware, including retained anchors and broken screws, filled the bone defects with antibiotic ceramine, and treated her with three months of IV antibiotics. In stage two, we did a shortening osteotomy and ORIF of the fracture and packed the site with bone marrow aspiration and demineralized bone matrix posteriorly, while my plastic surgeon colleagues led by Dr. Steve Bernard performed harvesting of the vascularized fibular strut graft on the ipsilateral leg. As you can see on these interoperative images, the strut graft was fixed anteriorly using two circlage tapes, one superior and one inferior to the shaft, and then graft was plugged into the vasculature of the arm medially, and we made sure that the blood supply to the graft was patent, as you can see with pulsation in the video. Patient went on to heal the donor site uh, with no complications and achieved excellent function in her upper extremity. This case highlights the importance of surgical planning and having an interdisciplinary team of experts to tackle a complex fracture non-union like this.